Thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual Spotlight Podcast. My name is Stephen Lewis, and in five minutes or less, I plan on encouraging and uplifting you with Bible verses, my personal writings, and more to give you a spiritual boost to your day. So get ready, because the spotlight is being turned on. Hey, folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode. Steve Lewis here. Appreciate you being on and listening. I truly hope you're blessed. Truly hope you're enjoying the shows as well to start your day out. If you're listening first thing in the mornings, hey, or no matter what time of day you're listening, thank you so much for being on the other end. And if you're new to the show, thank you for tuning in. I truly hope you'll be blessed with what I share with you today. So today I want to share with you a writing that I wrote about reprogram your mind. Here we go, folks. Have you ever watched the news lately and noticed your attitude changing? Hmm. Ever thought about what is going on in the world and suddenly you feel your blood boiling and you become snappy and anxious? <laughs> well, that's because there's a spirit of deception in the world, a spirit of confusion and diversion and even division flowing through the airways. But don't worry, I'm not getting all weird on you, but think about it for a minute. If you are a believer of Jesus Christ, and you listen to the latest news for any amounts of time, you will suddenly find yourself angry and frustrated. You get what I'm saying? And some of you are nodding your head, oh yeah, Steve, I know exactly what you're talking about. And if you get around other believers, here we go, who have also been doing the same thing, before you know it, you're all angry and getting angrier. And then you just start kicking around old wounds and you're talking about what's going on in the world. And I can't believe they're acting like this and I can't believe they're doing that. But you know what? We need to focus. And that's why we need to allow the Holy Spirit to reprogram our minds to get us back on track. Remember what the Apostle Paul wrote in Romans 12 too. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing the mind so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good, acceptable, and perfect. Now, I'm going to say that one more time because I chopped it up a little bit. Once again, this is Romans 12, 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good, acceptable, and perfect. We must not get sucked into the ways of the world. We must not get sucked into the way the world is going. Don't copy the patterns of the world or live like the world. Don't let your mind be bombarded with the craziness going on to the point that you start losing your mind. Yes, it's true. Trust me. I've been there more than once, had to say, Steve, get off the news, get back on track, open up the word of God and start reading it and get focused because my mind was just getting bombarded. It was crazy. And as you know, you get bombarded all the craziness going on to the point that you start losing your mind. And if it stresses you out, don't allow it in. Stay focused on the plans that our Heavenly Father has for your life and stay in the Word. When you slip up and watch the news or get distracted by the worldly events and you feel stressed and overwhelmed, trust me, open up your Bibles and read the promises of God. Read about the armor, putting on the holy armor of God out of Ephesians chapter 6. Get in there, read that, know what you need to do daily to put that armor on so that you can focus and be strengthened and have the shield of faith guarding you against the darts of the enemy. You open the word and also do me a favor. Here's a good idea to try. A friend of mine just said he did try this and it actually worked for him, but play some worship music, but play it without vocals. So instrumental only. And when you do that, It'll get you into an atmosphere, a holy presence, an atmosphere with the Lord, and you'll be able to meditate on the word and focus. And as you do that, remember, you open the word and play that worship music and get your brain spiritually reprogrammed so that you won't get stressed and depressed. Does that make sense, folks? I'm telling you this today because I want to encourage you, and I'm also telling you because I know this from experience of what I needed to do. When it seemed like my mind was just running a thousand miles an hour, I'm trying to do podcast shows and all these things were going on. Make sense? And remember, I know <laughs> I plan on taking my own advice and doing the same thing like I already have been. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pray. 
Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this opportunity to share this message today to help my brothers and sisters in Christ to clear their minds and to focus on you, to get in the word, to meditate on it day and night, and to get it in their bodies instead of the news and the craziness going on. I just ask you to give them the strength. I pray that they'll be able to get into Ephesians 6 and learn about the whole armor that you have laid out for us through the Apostle Paul. And that we focus on the word, we focus on listening to worship music and getting into that atmosphere where we can stay focused and clear our minds. So I just pray for all my brothers and sisters to have renewed minds and be strengthened in these days that we're in. I just thank you for all these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, there you have it, folks. Thanks for tuning into another episode. I love you guys and appreciate you so much because as I always say, if it wasn't for you folks being there, I would be here in the basement, in the studio, talking to myself on a microphone. So with that being said, I love you all. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to spread the word about Relevance for Today podcast show as well as the TV show on kingdomcommunity.tv. Look up Stephen Lewis Relevance for Today and you'll find all the goodies. Hey, with that being said, share it with a stranger as well. Love you all. Take care of yourselves. Peace.